Alors, moi, je suis Pierre Brisson. Euh, je suis un des membres fondateurs de Réinfo COVID Québec. Je viens du milieu de la santé publique, universitaire à la retraite. Euh, je suis Pierre Larose et j'ai été dentiste pendant 50 ans. J'ai pris ma retraite au début de la COVID. Alors, je m'appelle Bernard Massy. J'ai une formation en microbiologie et immunologie. Euh, et ensuite, j'ai développé de l'expertise au cours des années en virologie, en biotechnologie et en thérapie génique. Mon nom est Patrick Provo, je suis professeur titulaire à la Faculté de médecine de l'Université Laval. Donc, j'ai développé une expertise au fil des ans euh, sur l'ARN et sur les vésicules lipidiques, donc euh, les deux principaux constituants des vaccins à ARN messager euh, qui ont été développés contre la COVID-19. Alexa Lavoie for Ruben News and today I'm in front of the College of Physicians in Montreal because today 19 doctors, scientists and pharmacists have decided to put their word into action with a peaceful demonstration. Recently, these 19 professionals wrote an open letter to the College of Physicians of Quebec and the General Director of Public Health of Quebec. This letter is addressed in particular to Dr. Luc Boileau, National Director of Public Health of Quebec, Dr. Moril Gaudreau, President of the College of Physicians of Quebec, Dr. Marie-Claude Roy, President of the Association des Pédiatres du Québec, Pierre Gerlier Forêt, INSPQ CEO, as well as Christian Dubé, our Quebec Health Minister. These 19 doctors, an expert denounced the risk related to vaccines such as myocarditis, especially for children, and the unknown long-term adverse effect, but especially the lack of precaution of Quebec related to the vaccine. Their request is clear that in accordance with Article 39 of the Code of Ethics for Physicians concerning the reporting of a situation that endangers the population, in this case, the children of Quebec, that a complete and immediate ban on children COVID-19 vaccination is required, if only under the precautionary principle that is not to harm. Do not forget that in Quebec, a number of scientists and doctors have already been under investigation or suspended for making comments that did not follow the government vaccination guidelines. Don't forget too that in the same building, we have the College of Physicians, but also so the McKinsey firm. So today we are here to give the opportunity to them to talk. Let's see what happened. Hey everybody, sorry to interrupt you, but we cannot publish the full video on YouTube. As you know, Big Tech doesn't like when we talk about challenging topic as the vaccine. So if you want to watch the full report, I suggest you to go and click on the link below. And so you can see the full video and heard what these people, experts, scientists, and doctors have to say about the letter that they wrote to the College of Physicians in Quebec. So thank you and please go and watch it. At Ruben News, we want to stop the medical silencing. And as you were able to see today, a lot of doctor, scientists and experts want to talk without being threatened by the association or by the College of Physicians. They want to express what concern they have so if you want to make a difference, go and sign our petition, stopmedicalsilencing.com.